This is Sailor, a Newfoundland dog. He lives with Ike and Ike's family in Twilling Gate, Newfoundland. Newfoundland dogs love to swim. But not too long ago, Sailor wasn't like other Newfoundland dogs. Sailor would not go in the water. In the summer, when Ike and his friends went swimming in the brook, Sailor would stay ashore. In the fall, when Ike's family went berry picking on the island, Sailor would stay ashore. In the winter, when Ike and his friends went skating on the harbor, Sailor would stay ashore. In the spring, when everyone in Twillingate went trouting on the pond, Sailor would stay ashore. No one knew why Sailor was reluctant to go in the water, but they had lots of theories. Uncle Nat said, like my duck, that dog is nothing but lazy bones. Aunt Gert said, Ike, my darling, that dog is nothing but a scaredy cat. Ike's brother Jason said, Ike, my son, that dog is nothing but a hangishore. Hangishore, hangishore, hang good for nothing, hangishore, sang the children. Everybody teased Sailor, everybody but Ike. Ike loved Sailor more than anything else in the world. He loved Sailor's kindly brown eyes and thick, soft ears and big tongue, as pink as bubblegum. Sailor, old buddy, you're a Newfoundland dog, said Ike. Newfoundland dogs are famous for saving people from drowning. You should love to go on the water. Sailor just wagged his tail sadly. Ike said, Look at your fur. It's so thick and oily. It'll keep you warm as toast. Sailor just whimpered. Ike said, Look at your toes. They're webbed just like a duck's. You were born to swim. Sailor just folded his paws. Ike said, Look at the size of you. You're so big and strong, you could swim a mile in that water. Sailor just heaved a deep sigh. Ike asked his parents what to do about Sailor. His dad, who was a teacher, said, maybe he just needs someone to teach him how to swim. His mom smiled and said, maybe he just needs a good reason to get in the water. Ike thought about what his parents said. Maybe he could teach Sailor to like the water. Come on, sailor old buddy, he said. Let's play follow the leader. Sailor followed Ike to the beach. It was springtime, so the drift ice was piled on the shore in big ridges called bally carters. Pans of ice dotted the salt water like flat white stepping stones. Ike marched right down to the water's edge and put one foot in the water. So did sailor, but reluctantly. Ike put two feet in the water. So did Sailor, but even more reluctantly. Then Ike stomped out into the water and splashed around. That was too much. Sailor ran back up the beach and looked hangdog. Some older boys came down to the beach. They laughed and called out, Hang ashore! Hang ashore! <laughs> Good for nothing! Hang ashore! <laughs> Ike watched the boys scramble out over the bally carters. They were going out on the drift ice to play the game of copying, following the leader from one pan to another. They were laughing and jumping. It looked like so much fun. One of the boys looked back and called, Come on, Ike, you don't you be a hang ashore too. Ike knew that copying was dangerous, but he wanted to try it. He climbed up over the bally carters. Sailor grabbed his arm and tried to pull him back, but Ike shook him off and said, Let me go, Sailor. Ike hopped from one pan to the next, trying to catch up to the older boys. At first, the pans were close together, so it was easy to jump from one to the other. But then, the wind began to blow. The slippery pans bobbed up and down on the waves and floated farther and farther apart. Ike came to a spot where he had to jump across wide open water, black and cold. It looked far, but he jumped anyway. 
His foot slipped. He fell into the water. It was ice cold. Ike struggled and splashed, but his boots filled with water and his clothes were as heavy as lead. It was so cold he could hardly breathe. Sailor, help! called Ike. Help me! When Ike called out, a rare thing happened to Sailor. He jumped as if a lightning bolt had struck him. His head shot up and his tail shot out. He charged into that freezing water without a moment's hesitation. He shouldered his way through the ice pans. With powerful strokes of his huge paws, he churned through the water towards Ike. Ike was gasping for breath and sinking, too cold to move a muscle. Sailor, with his great gentle jaws, grabbed his collar and dragged him up out of the water onto an ice pan. Ike lay in a heap, cold and wet, but safe. Sailor lay down beside him and snuggled close to keep him warm until help came. The older boys, who saw it all, cheered and cried. Later, Ike's dad said, Ike, my trout, your mom was right. That dog just needed a good reason to get in the water. After that, no one called Sailor a hangashore anymore. Now they call him a hero.